Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about artificial intelligence and physics and today I will talk about high energy physics. And I will venture maybe some predictions which may age well or not. Well, I mean, I'm a critic of particle physics and high energy physics and there's no need to restate all this. You can watch these videos about the state of fundamental physics today. But what I want to say is that artificial intelligence and neural nets open a completely new possibility to look at particle physics experiments. Well, we interpret this, these uh, things today as quarks and various colors of quarks and several generations. And I think these might be misleading concepts. I would even question the concept of a strong force and weak force if they are really a sound description of nature but I might, I might be mistaken. So just let's work with the raw data and let these raw data be analyzed by artificial intelligence. I think this is possible in the future that you can extract certain features maybe by symbolic regression. The important thing is that you have no preconceptions about the model. And one thing is particularly bad and misleading you have this extensive triggering, that means you throw away 99.99% .99 of the data and look only at that part that matches your model assumptions. And that is wrong, and I think that is a significant disadvantage of this data analysis that had led us to this mess we are in here with modern particle physics. So what we can do is repeat all these fantastic experiments of particle physics, beginning with cosmic ray analysis, Anderson who discovered the positron, the p meson in 1947. This is one part of high energy physics and of course you have then laboratory experiments, fixed target and also collider experiments. Just repeat these experiments like uh, Hofstadter's experiments or even before beginning with the cyclotron in the 1940s and just collect the data and let the artificial intelligence find new features of all this. Of course everything should be on the internet and available to everybody who is interested and I guess that I would like to predict that yes in the future artificial intelligence might advance particle physics and maybe find smarter concepts how to categorize all this what we are seeing in these experiments. You may think about very recent experiments of the Large Hadron Collider but I think there are too much data just to reasonably process all this so let's go back in history and say uh, the earlier collider experiments like LEP and HERA or even the, the bubble chamber experiments. These are all interesting things that need to be repeated and put it on the internet and let it analyze. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.